when when Rick Overton and I were the brownies uh, in the movie Willow. Uh, thank you both for seeing it. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. Yeah, uh, Rick. Rick and I would go to local clubs where we were shooting the largest blue screen facility in San Rafael, California at the time, and, and Robin had his ranch was nearby. And he would, you know, stay in touch and stop by wherever we were performing, and the three of us would get up and do improv on stage. And every single, and this is over like a six-week period, maybe a couple dozen shows, and every single time I would drift to the back wall and watch these two go at it because... There was just no keeping up. It was out of the question. And I think Bobby yesterday, I know, mentioned Rick Overton as one of the guys who would improvise with uh, right. with Robin. And, and, and I, you I, know, it, Kevin, I don't, I, I'm glad the audience heard the last couple of minutes, but we're we're just staring at Rich. He's just drooling <laughs> in front of everybody. Were you falling asleep? No. Shut up. I fucking, what are you throwing me under the bus? We're throwing you under the bus because you distracted everyone. Sam is crying. He's laughing so hard. I drool you by didn't notice action. that drool? I no, know. what the fuck? I'm, leave me alone. I'm Bonnie. fucking listening to the story. Uh, Bonnie. He's, Are you a fucking I think, he, I think when he brought a green screen, Rich got confused. He, no, he said blue screen. I'm listening. Yeah. Right. That, fucking... that was confusing, but I'll tell you what. <laughs> All right, no, continue with your story, but yes. I didn't want you to think we weren't. We were just amazed that this drool was hanging out of his mouth and we were waiting for it to finally fall, and it did, all over his shirt. <laughs> I will say this also, if I may. Yeah. Uh, because I'm on the other side of the nation and I didn't witness any of that happening. This is why Opie, Opie uh, is not only surviving, but thriving along with Jim in this new show. Because that story was pretty much over about seven minutes ago. <laughs> <laughs> and Fuck whether or not, in terms of entertainment <laughs> value, and whether or not Rich was drooling, you did a beautiful thing for all of us. I, uh, <laughs> here's the thing no, about Rich Kevin. Have a big here's, piece of drool. Here's the thing hold, about, hold, hold on before you, you praise Kevin since you ruined his story. I didn't um, ruin Rich, story. Shut up, Rich, I'm kidding. That he did have a, a big joke. piece of drool coming out it, of his it, mouth. And, and I, yes. I got distracted. We all just got distracted by it. We're like, how long is it going to take for him to notice this is a huge joking. piece of drool? Is fu- he was kidding. Fucking, but the reality uh, is this. Sam and Kevin have a very weird energy between them. They have, they have a very weird energy. I can see it on Sam's face. Yeah, they, I think they have Sam, a weird energy. I think them. Sam uh, purposely sabotaged the, yes. the great Kevin Pollock story. And, yes. and here's the thing with Kevin. I did uh, uh, Bob and Tom, big radio station in, in Indianapolis. And Kevin... Yes. I could listen to fucking Kevin Pollock stories for hours on fucking end. I'm telling you. Like, you, dude, what's your story, Norton? So then he got out of the car. Okay, but this. Well, then you got out of the car. <laughs> but I, I'm telling I'm not, uh, uh, you know, kissing up or. Stop uh, trying to oh salvage your relationship with Kevin, I you have fucking. No relationship. You, I'm just saying Exactly. Sure he's not putting listen, you in a film. Shut up. He, he, Listen, you fucking... We're in his when, film, though. Huh? Yes, we are. You're in our film, too, so, so shut the fuck address, up. Let's address what we're, we're talking about before. Now, with this weird energy between oh. Sam and Kevin. I can see it on Sam's face. Yeah, what's it? going on with you and Kevin Pollock, Sam? I don't Sam? like it. Well, Kevin goes out of his way to be a fucking asshole. Do whenever, you? Yeah, whenever he gets an opportunity. Well, you should. He's a comic, and you're a fucking... Look at you. <laughs> I told you, you're getting too old for the way you look. Sam, once again, you've missed the point. I, I go out of my way to be a fucking asshole to you. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I said. Yeah. Yeah, what? yeah. I, I, didn't, I didn't hear the part where you said... Wait, why? What, what is this based on? <laughs> well... Was it, is, is it based on an incident that I don't know about? There was absolutely. no incident. It might, no, he's saying absolutely. Sam, Sam's 100% correct. There's been no incident. Oh, okay. 100% sweet kid around me and has been every single time. I just can't stand the sound of his fucking voice. <laughs> And so, when so, you, so you won't impersonate it. <laughs> no, God. Oh, God. Uh, so when he's droning on and on and on and everybody's being polite, <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm going to be entertained by Voss drooling because that's how we all feel, but everybody's being polite because... Kevin I, put you in a movie. No, I, I'll disagree. I, I don't, don't don't tell me I'll, why I listened to Kevin. I actually wasn't. I was enjoying this story. I wasn't. But you, your energy, I could feel. It's like I, you, you know. I like the Robin Williams stories. Yeah. This is a guy that uh, was uh, came up with. Yeah, he's fucking Clint Eastwood. This guy got stories. Kevin and you I did think? a TV show together. Really? Good. Bonnie McFarlane's in the studio today, Kevin. Yeah. So how come you don't like Sam? How come you don't like Sam's voice? Yeah. How come I don't like it? Yeah. First of all, my favorite part of all of this is how much it bothers Sam. I've won. This is fantastic. 
Uh, yeah, you've been no, in the no. business for 60 years. I would hope you would have won. Oh, Maybe this is just? getting... This Sam, is getting, okay. Sam really is hurt. He's yeah, hurt. Sam, you got, Sam, Sam's uh, not joking is anymore. Is it bothering that Kevin doesn't like you? Or not, I, don't, I can't even see he doesn't no. like you. I can't even see he doesn't like you. I don't care if he likes me or not, but if he's going to be an asshole to me for no reason... On multiple platforms. But he's given you a reason. Multiple there is a platforms. reason. Yeah, your, yeah, yeah, yeah. Your what voice. other platforms? Well, yeah, he'll do it on his podcast. <laughs> you, you, he'll do you it. Talk on, about Sam yeah, on your podcast. No, yeah. yeah it's, but nobody's <laughs> listening to his podcast. When I had, uh, you're right. <laughs> I'm only kidding. I'm just fucking around with him. <laughs> no, when I had, when I had uh, Norton on, we talked about. Uh, Sam's voice. Yeah, can we always beat each other up? Like we, like we yeah, attack we the guys on the show. But at one point, I'm like, you really not like, say, like it's the way we. Yeah. Like I'll shit on anybody on the show. They're yeah. terrible. But it's like I know the tone. And then I, like when you said something, I was like, well, did you really not like say? Like it actually struck me. Like maybe he doesn't actually like Sam. Like I, it felt like a little bit. Mm. Huh. Let me re- let me repeat what I said earlier. He's been nothing but a sweet kid to me every single time I've been in the studio. That's a fact. And it wasn't going out of his way to be a sweet kid. He just is a sweet. You just are a sweet kid, Sam. And and mm. I will acknowledge that to everyone. Just and pandering. the reason I can't stand the sound of your fucking voice is because <laughs> everyone else in that room earned their position. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> well. And and they were in the trenches and fought the good fight, which you're doing now. So when you earn a position in show business, in my view, then I will stop being a fucking asshole to you. But in the meantime... Yeah, you've only been at this nine years, Sam. Yeah, I've been here for nine years. You've only years. been here nine years. Uh, ten years. Ten years is when you... Around s- ten years is when it happens. When so- I, listen, ten years, we'll talk to you. <laughs> I've been doing this 30 years. Bonnie's been... Well, whatever, you know. Uh, you no, know, no, let's do the collective edition within the room. I think it's... Uh, and on me on the phone, it's well over a hundred years. Yeah. You fucking neophyte. But here's the thing. <laughs> That's a big word. Uh, yeah, really. No, I, 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 it, it really is a, a, a paper hatred. This is, this is not genuine. I'll, I'll, tell you this love- one, I'll tell you this much about Sam. He's He works the hardest around here. Who gives yeah, a shit? Kn- I like what Kevin's saying. <laughs> <laughs> Kevin, no, I'm interested because he, he really First does. of all, I love that he's he he admits sort of that he's that he's hates him for no good reason. I like it's that. It's the sound that's, of his that's voice hilarious to and me. the fact that he hasn't earned. Why is he on the mic? I agree with Fuck Kevin. no. I, I don't agree. I I think Sam, you know what? Sam knows how to take it and he knows how to get you know what I mean he's, I like Sam because he's a laugher and he's a looker so you know what I mean uh, like when Sam isn't as scruffy as he is now and he's smooth you know what I mean hey Kevin when do, when do you tape your podcast in the day or at night <laughs> that's one of the greatest transitions <laughs> well because here's the thing exactly he, hold on I'll do it for you because he weren't... has to whore to promote his thing and he'd like to come out and do your well, podcast no, I'm going to do your podcast no, when he's no, out in LA next Tuesday podcast. and Wednesday no but see I'm coming next Tuesday and Wednesday, and I'm doing two podcasts. What does that have to do with Kevin Paul well, hating Sam for no reason? What's that? You don't say I'm yeah, doing why? two other podcasts. Oh, really? You're going to teach me about the fucking business? Yeah, but this is not the time we're discussing yeah. something between why, him why and him. We're not talking about your fucking <laughs> podcast. <laughs> well, because we're running out of time, no, and I'm not. feeling why, sad why for you, Sam. Why are you bringing it back? Doesn't Kevin Paul have enough of this with his own mother? Exactly. Fuck you, beat me. It's not about your podcast schedule. Hold on, Kevin. Do you know when they can pick him up at the airport too? While he's out there, yeah, why don't you uh, why don't you text me what time your flight arrives? So, <laughs> yeah, I, I'm interested in this Sam Kevin thing because I don't understand it. I Sam works really hard. I think I understand. I understand Kevin Pollock's uh, point a little bit because it's like Sam's generation just they they don't put in a lot of time and then they want everything right away. But, yeah, but, that, uh, but that, Sam's not. But not Sam's me. not that kid, though. Sam I'm, looks hurt. Right. Relax. I was getting there. Jesus. Yeah. I personally Sam. like people who take a stand against things for no reason. <laughs> That's, I love that. It's yeah, good. and and Bonnie, you're 100 percent correct. That is indeed what I've been doing. <laughs> There is no genuine deep but, but really, that's all we we but, all do that, and then and then we yeah. kind of retrospectively add some crap on there to make it make sense. But, what's but cre- generally, you just like I just don't like you. But what's creepy about that? When this phone call ends, he'll still be thinking about Sam. <laughs> And yeah, Sam will. will be thinking about him. Right. Sam looks hurt, though. Sam's does, bothered. This is he the way bothered. every good but romantic comedy, comedy bothered. Starts. It would bother me, too. Why don't you have a discussion with that, Kevin? We'll, we'll try to shut up for a minute. Go ahead, Sam. First of all, go, go ahead. Sam doesn't want to talk to me. He really is hurt by my words. 
And, you know, that, <laughs> that mostly makes me happy. But the truth <laughs> is... Neither I love did, it. It's unbelievable. The truth, the truth he won't is, back down. It's great. Let Sam defend himself for a second. I, there's nothing for me to defend. I'm not going to prove myself to Kevin Pollack. <laughs> That's right. But Kevin Pollack the way you spit good out his name. Well, I give a God. shit about Kevin Pollack. You make Pollack. it sound like he's an open mic or something. It's Kevin Pollack. He's one of the most well, talented. Well, I'll, I'll be honest. I've been doing this <laughs> a long time. generation. I've been doing this a long time. And when I found out Kevin Pollack was a, a, a true day-to-day listener to the show, I was like, holy fuck, yeah. that's kind of cool. I understand that he's famous. Do you? Yeah. Well, he's been in a lot of good movies. The movies are good. When he pulled out from under that car in Usual Suspects, boom. There we go. <laughs> so, Kevin, right. what were you, what were you but, saying? I want, I want to hear these yeah, guys right, talking about yeah. But there is no reason for me to not think that he's an asshole. You know what I mean? Well, I think That's that you're true. allowed to think that this is what I love about America. He's allowed to hate you for no reason, and you're allowed to counterpunch with that he's just being an asshole. Right. No, Sam's position is 100% correct. I have no... I have no I have you no can't argument. argue with a guy who's constantly... He's like, no, you know, I have you, no argument. In fact, it's the first moment I've actually respected the kid that he thinks I'm such a fucking asshole. <laughs> so weird. I yeah. it so much. I mean, look, he looks at me at, at 100 years old, a guy, and I look at him. Uh, I hear the stuff he says on the show about his knowledge of hip-hop and that if you like any music that ha- might have happened prior to 1974, uh, you were a fucking mm-hmm. piece of shit mm-hmm. and an idiot. Yeah, I don't you like know, that I, about you, Sam. I like the Beach Boys. There's a lot of good music oh, that came see, out. I just don't a, like Fall and Oats before you know 2006. What? I didn't realize this before. Thank you for pointing out, Kevin. He's a little shit. <laughs> <laughs> He doesn't he, he think you're better than everyone because you've got youth. I know. Come on. Yeah, Look yeah at- Bonnie. But Bonnie, you just made his day. He really wants you to say that about him. I think that's true. I I, I really do. And, and and why would I? I mean, it's fun. Well, I, Bonnie's joking, but I'm not hurt by it. But I'm not sitting there being like, oh, hopefully Bonnie's coming in today. Maybe she'll call me a piece of shit. <laughs> well, well, I can do it via Twitter if you want. Oh, thank you. If I may son it's because <laughs> she was joking she made jokes about you while you're standing there that makes you feel special please don't deny it so <laughs> feel Kevin has got his number man I forgot. yeah yeah no and the truth is you've somehow earned your place on this uh, radio show that 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 is a fact. Initially, it was just given to you, and you've more than made something of it. You didn't fuck uh, it up, is what he's saying. But at no he point was it just given to me. Nothing was ever just given to it me. It was just given to you. Where's Sam. the Where's this idea coming from? Oh, you're right. You're right. You came up through show business. How? <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, let's hear how it got. How you got your start? Your career is a little different than mine. I was in were the trenches not, for a long time. Were you not through a microphone by an existing radio star team? Yeah, but so were a lot of people. Oh, so what? We're not talking about a lot of people. We're talking about you, Sam. Hey, what the fuck? I'm sorry, you? I can't help it when somebody starts beating up on someone. I jump right <laughs> in. <laughs> You're loving this. Jesus. <laughs> Listen, I want to thank Opie. For bringing this to the forefront. I really <laughs> no, it was me. I, I did. It was me because I saw I, oh. I, I, I saw oh. Sam's face, but I also know knew Kevin's energy, and I'm like, it's just an odd energy. Like I, I couldn't. I honestly can't figure out Kevin's. Because I asked him so, at one point, like it felt like he was kidding, and then I'm like, at one point, I felt like he wasn't kidding, but now I'm like, so, is he kidding? I honestly don't know. Kevin, you've been around well, a long. Uh, you've been around a long time. How about some advice for Sam? What is he doing wrong? Oh my! God. What is he doing wrong? <laughs> <laughs> like, what was he supposed oh, to do? Oh my god! Find a small rarely. station somewhere and and cut his teeth. I've rarely ever 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 been this happy after that mm-hmm. question. Um. Because Sam's reaction. He actually has an answer. So, That's what's creepy because he's him, thought about this a, a lot. I heard him Why fiddling make him through papers. Upset? Like he's finding the document that <laughs> right. he had written He already up. wrote it up. <laughs> All right, go ahead, Kevin. Here, what do you think? Here's your chance. Yeah, yeah. I would say Sam is doing exactly what he should be doing, which is to be true to his own school, to, to play at this game exactly as he knows how. Whether the fuck What's or not, mean? Uh, whether the fuck or not, somebody with over seventy films on their resume uh, is a fan or not doesn't matter. Sam has his fans, and they are a, probably a very, very large number. If there were some way to uh, 
to find them and add them up. Um, then he, he, he can use... I can't even tell if that's a shot or not. I know. He's so good at, at like... Just you playing can, both sides of the fence, but then yeah, getting you, a shot yes, in at the end. And you a can't bit. argue back, because he'll be like, great, thank you for calling me an asshole. <laughs> Step one. I love like, that. No, no, that's what I was I'll looking bit, for. A bit passive-aggressive, right? Yeah. yeah. A little bit. I, no, it's not, it's not passive-aggressive. No. I'm telling you right to your face, I can't deny that you are succeeding with the modicum of talent that you have you're succeeding beyond anyone's expectations probably your own and in the nine years you've put in with these guys you have more than found your place you've earned your place at the Ugh. table where you originally dragged to the trough you've now done he just loves the sound of his own voice <laughs> nothing is short he just has to keep going and going until somebody drools so he's we can all fucking, pay attention well, to something else. He wasn't else. a lot of talk he's at home because his mom took up all the and time. And he's a fucking, he's an actor. That's right. what actors do. He's not doing stand-up. He's doing, a, what was the movie where you were locked in the basement? <laughs> oh, my with, God. With, I can't. With, shut up. This morning, oh, what, what was no, the movie? don't answer him. No, 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 my kids <laughs> watched it a thousand exactly. times. I'll tell you as soon as I, know what, I know what's going on here. Rich realized uh, he hasn't talked in a while. Yeah, no one's paying no, attention to him. No, shut up. Don't turn this around on me. I'm talking. What does this have They're to do doing with something. This? Him and Sam are he doing brought, something, Kevin and you keep jumping in. No, Kevin <laughs> brought up. He did so many fucking movies, and I just want to know the name of one exactly. of them. Exactly. Then Google it. G O G L E. You pick, up, you pick <laughs> up on the weirdest things. Exactly. I've never I'm seen a anyone. Savant. That's all you care yes, about. No, it's like, well, you so many movies. Part. I wonder if he knows the name of the one that my kids like. Who exactly. Cares? All right. I'm Him just... and Sam are working something out that's got some real feelings in it, and you just keep all jumping right, in with trying to soft it up. We don't need you to soft it up. You're the one who goes. I'm the one who brought it up. Shut the fuck up. You jumped in, too. I dropped it because he was blaming Opie for something I <laughs> did. Not blaming. Right. He was giving Opie fucking... Uh, no, he was He was, uh, he was saying, like, Opie, I was actually... Acc just, what is it? Accolades. Accolades. Don't help him, Opie. Hey, okay. I, so I, I, you I, no, I was trying I to... great it, for Kevin Pollock's film. I, I brought it up. It wasn't oh to take God. credit for it. I thought, he was, I thought he was saying, well, you brought this up. I was saying, no, I, I'm, uh, I did it. All right. All right what, so what, let's get what back. Was I was the taking the bullet. I kind of want to know the movie now. I'll be honest with you. Yes, what is the movie? What was the movie, Kevin? First of all, Rich, for clarification, I'm sorry. I threw out the number. I don't know the exact number of films I've been in, 74, but I will say <laughs> uh, the name of the film with Jamie Lee Fitness is House Arrest. Uh. House Arrest. Yeah. Your daughter's like house arrest not out of they, all the Kevin Pollack films? Listen, you fucking jackass. When they were kids, they used to watch this movie nonstop. When they were like, all right. it, it was nonstop. That and Baby's Day Out. Okay, go ahead. Well, uh, now that you took which, the energy, Kevin of, was I not didn't in. take the now energy. That you, now that you took all the energy away from this, I know. This, Sam, I want to hear just what Sam and Kevin. The I'm problem interested that in Kevin this. and Sam are right, having. We're breaking it up a little. We don't I need to break it up. <laughs> break it up. I want it to get ugly. Yeah, we don't need to break it up. I want <laughs> yelling and screaming and cursing. Right, let let Bonnie down. control Jesus. the dishes down. It's okay. Let Bonnie control Look, this. She gets it too. I, yeah. I think the, a very important thing was 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 established and and seen through already, which is Sam had an opportunity to speak his mind in my face. That was very important for Sam and very important for the show. <laughs> <Was it? laughs> Sam, it's just, Sam, it's, Sam, go ahead. It's, yeah, he's okay. still talking. By the way, even though we've moved, he's still talking. He's like, oh, I can add a few more words to this point. But to his point, made. though, it was a pretty oh. good point. Instead of sa talking about what he's uh, doing, why yeah. don't you talk about how you feel? Well, why don't you talk about <laughs> why don't you talk about how you you dislike him and why you dislike yeah, why, him? Yeah, yeah, why do you dislike Kevin Paul? And also, why are you would always be fair. putting down people's music? <laughs> <laughs> and I gotta tell you, Kevin. <laughs> You're yeah. going down the wrong road because uh, uh, Sam's mom does not play. You're going to have to deal with her shit now. Yeah. No pies uh, for you. Pies. She's going to boil your pet. Is that a thing that guys do? What? Talk about their moms are going to get <laughs> yeah, at yeah, you I don't and know. stuff? Sam's mom. <laughs> I, I, I didn't know this was defense. a thing that grown men <laughs> well, yeah. shot at one another. Well, thank my you mom for, will No, you kind of got to you you. know Sam's mom, though. She's been on the show many times. She she can't imagine that Sam does anything wrong whatsoever. Well, thank Sam, you, too, for breaking up the what flow. What were you saying? Yeah. What are you saying, Sam? You're, by how you feel? Bonnie, yeah. that's a good question. How do I? I mean, I yeah. uh, said how I feel. I mean, Kevin can say... Whatever he wants, he's pandering a little bit and then disguising insults in one way or the other. Right, that's what he's doing. How right. are you feeling? Sam. No, not how you're feeling. What do you dislike about him? But Sam, I don't you, care how you feel. You, what do I have to no, because I, I want to know, are you hurt? Does it hurt you? I feel like it, it hurts you because you keep coming back kind of like maybe a little too hard. 
You know what I mean? No, I don't know what you mean. Like, well, I feel Bonnie. like you're. I feel like yeah, yeah, you're you're like you've been in the business sixty years and yeah. stuff like that. It's like a little shitty way to be. You what know? would hurt he's, you? Mo- he's talking so eloquently to you, <laughs> and then you're like, you've been in the business sixty years. It's old. It's old. It's old versus young. Sam does do yes. that to us with our music on this show. That's that's your only go to. Different preferences. He looks, at, he looks at us shitty when we I even when we talk about generations. when we talk about an old song or something. He looks at us shitty. Yeah. Hall and Oates is a shitty band. Oh. No, well, they have a co- they, first of all, they're not a band. Or Make My yeah. Dreams Come True. You don't like that one? Oh, no. You're, You're a like rich girl? They, they no. have a lot that of clap stinks. along songs. I do not they're like nice. Hall and Oates. I saw them. But can what you he, insult uh, Kevin Pollack without bringing age into all right, let's it? All, Sam's ageist. Let's all shut up for a minute and let these two try to hammer it out. Go ahead, Sam. It's to you. And Kevin Pollack on the phone. I find Kevin Pollack to be, a, he's a complete asshole because he doesn't just bring it up when Jim's in the room. He's brought it up. I've heard everything. I hear every. He goes on Tom Papa's show. And out of nowhere, he'll bring up Opie and Anthony and have to fit in. Oh, but I don't like Sam. Are you serious? Yes. Kevin. He'll go on. I've read it. He'll go on and ask me anything on Reddit. And he has to bring up, oh, but I don't like Sam. <laughs> on your Reddit, you brought up Sam, Kevin? Yeah, well, how could... <laughs> What's Reddit? What's, <laughs> what is he doing? What's the motivation? <laughs> Hold on. Behind for no uh, reason. You know what, Sam? You're doing such a shitty job. I got, I'm going to help you out. Kevin, you ready for this? I told oh, you. No. I warned you ahead of time. On the phone is Sam's parents. Oh, <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Sam's parents, Kevin Pollock. <laughs> Who is Kevin Pollock? <laughs> that would be my father on the phone. And why is he bugging Sam? Sam is hard working. Oh, God. Was he bugging him? Are these it's people real? Yeah. 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 It sounds like if you cast it, like, uh, cast okay, call. now like, so, we're going to yeah. get someone to play them. He's my son, and I love him. He's just Kathleen How Bates from Misery. Talking? Hold on. Let him talk. <laughs> yeah, let him talk. Entertainment stars by their podcasts. Wait, I didn't hear that, uh, Sam's father. Yeah, I said you can always tell big entertainment stars by their podcast and their groveling to get people to walk to talk on their podcast. Ooh, you see what he's saying, right? Oh. Most people with all these quote unquote film credits shouldn't be doing a podcast. Yeah. That's Kevin, what he's saying. Kevin, comment. I think it's very important that Sam's father be allowed to speak, gentlemen. <laughs> 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 bring in, bring in, bring in, bring in the parents in. Probably doesn't do Are a you lot to my. <laughs> <laughs> they call, they call. Yeah, no, I understand. It just doesn't Wait, help we my hit, side of it. You don't think it's strengthening your? <laughs> no, I don't. Hold on, we got uh, Sam's want... principal on the phone. <laughs> you never the... want your parents to take yeah. care of a situation for you. And the whole but... and the whole coddled generation thing. It does again. Yes. This isn't me but being the exception. But, doesn't but apply. But here. Hold, on, hold on, I got to hear from Sam's mom. Though. Can I just ask one Sam's mom. This isn't working out for me. Sam's mom. Sam's mom, please. Come on. Opie and Jim have worked with Sam a long time. <laughs> they know he is a very, very talented young man. Oh, thank you, Mom. <laughs> Bringing that to the table. You're welcome, thank honey. You. Yeah. No, but the, what, are the, what are your... Appreciate uh, it. Bonnie? Sam's mom and dad, if I could ask a question. What do you think about Sam being an ageist? Who said I was an ageist? He clearly has a problem with uh, people, people that are of older. another generation. That is true. Uh, he just thinks he's better. So this is That's something again, that you're, now you're, you're arguing okay the other with. side. Yeah, this is <laughs> yeah, this isn't working. So you, it annoys you also. Oh, not in the least. Sam is a wonderful son. <laughs> Oh. He's just getting revved up, and then <laughs> and the parents were on the phone. Are you an only child? No, there's three well, of us. No, three, now, do, but you I, don't I, like the other two. I've been around, <laughs> I can already tell that. I've been, I've been around. <laughs> they can't be calling everyone. No, <laughs> yeah, they gotta just. Focus Bonnie, on I've been around a, long enough to to answer your question with a yes, even though there's two <laughs> other children involved. But yeah. they, th- that house revolves around Sam, huh? I have to take another call. Uh, Sam's brother Aww. calling me, so I. Have to <laughs> another call. So Kevin, oh, wow. Kevin, do you have any comment for Sam's parents, who are really delightful people? Yeah, Sam's mom. I'd, lo- I'd like to wait just for a moment to see if Sam's father, looking after one of his other sons, worked out. <laughs> <laughs> We're all on pins uh, and needles, Sam's dad. Yeah. Okay, I'm, yeah, I'm back. Uh, I'm back. I got think, the rate. You know, that's good. I really, I feel like we need to hear more from Sam's mother. Oh. 
Well, you know, I don't see any reason that this guy is to be jumping all over Sam and saying he's a bad person and he doesn't like his voice and he hasn't earned anything. Uh, Sammy's earned a lot. Uh, he's not, really what, what has he earned? I do like that she called him this guy, though. And, yeah. and I do like she called you Sammy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that was probably took that and, credit and away. With huh? an I. <laughs> I think you guys got to be a little excited that Kevin Pollack knows about your son, though. That's kind of cool, right? Well, uh, you know, I don't know. She doesn't know who he is, obviously. He but he doesn't like him. Um, he knows him and he doesn't like Any him. Any press oh, is good press. Yeah, I mean, look how many people don't like the Kardashians. <laughs> I think she's cool because she she gets me. Sam's mom is very cool. They're both cool. Sam's mom is not Billy Burr. <laughs> <laughs> huh? Do you think Sam's as famous as the Kardashians? Wow! Oh God, Sam's mom's gonna get wet now. <laughs> Scott, you can't say that about someone's mother. Well, she no, got his, very excited his, over her son. Yeah. I mean, she's no, exactly. uh, excited over the fact that he might be as famous as Kim Kardashian. Kardashian. That might get the juices flowing. Well, I don't know. I don't hear Kevin Pollack <laughs> hating the Kardashians on every podcast. That's he true. Goes on. Kevin, Sam comment. Have a fairly large ass on him, though. What? M- m- Mrs. Roberts, please. Wait, your Mrs. dad's Roberts. talking about your big ass? I don't. It's, it's, it's incredibly ass. small. No, I think he was referring to his own son's ass. Yeah, now. juicy yeah, was, was the word he used. Yeah. God. So, Kevin, what were you saying? My apologies for all the crazy. Stuff. I, I was just uh, curious if Mr. and Mrs. Roberts are familiar with the Grumpy Old Men movie with Walter Matthau and Jack Lemmon. <laughs> Listen, I model, my, I model my life after Walter Matthau. You enjoyed the Grumpy Old Men movies? There were two of them? Absolutely. The, the so first perhaps one was much better. You must remember the fine actor who played Walter Matthau's son in both of those films? <laughs> yeah, Calvin somebody, right? <laughs> I, there, now we go. So, that's that guy. Uh... And in terms of your son, I love that he brought his parents to this fight. Don't yeah. no, I know. <laughs> let's, let's credit who I we're mean, crediting here. Is I, this <laughs> a thing that grown men do? Is bring their moms to the fight? No, I know. I know. Obi, don't look at me like. I haven't what done are that. you doing? I, I haven't done that since do I was 12. they listen every morning just yes. hoping to hear they, a little bit of their they son listen on radio? just for Sam. I oh know they're not God. listening to me or Jimmy. <laughs> they tune this show in every day just waiting for Sam. Yeah. How do you get in here? He's on! <laughs> toilet flesh and out comes There's absolutely nothing funny about that <laughs> i mean it's just you know honestly the the coddling is what is wrong with this generation you know yep yeah. I, uh, I think uh, all of you old people have, who have been in this business for so long are bullying Sam. I see where Sam you gets you can't it from bu- now. You can't bully adults. Right. Because adults can get up and walk well, away. You, you can't bully adults. can get up and walk away. <laughs> I say you he's, a, he's adult. You can't bully adults. So I, I hate when people go, <laughs> he's, he's just, a bully. He thinks the A is silent. I, <laughs> I say, we, I say with, uh, we end this with Sam's mom, you know, discussing uh, this with Kevin Pollack. Please. <clears throat> Tell him what uh, he's doing uh, wrong. <laughs> Oh, Opie, did you, by the way, I have to ask, did you write on a piece of paper and slip it to E-Rock and get Sam's parents on the phone? E-Rock was licking his chops at this. <laughs> no, I think they no, used texting at this point. Oh, is that what that was? <laughs> Awkward. Bobby, tell, her, tell him how much Bob Saget likes you. Oh. oh. Yeah. <laughs> oh, boy. That's like a Wait, wait, will you let her talk? Sorry. He, he did. Thank he you. Bob Saget talked to me on the show. <laughs> so we all have our credits, you see, Kevin. Right. <laughs> It's true. It really is true. Oh my God, Sam! If I was you, I'd be so humiliated. <laughs> yeah, I wish this hadn't gone this way. <laughs> I liked it better when Voss was interrupting to talk about house arrest. <laughs> <laughs> All right, are we are we done, uh, Sam's parents? Any final yeah. thoughts about Kevin Pollock, the great Kevin Pollock, Ugh. friend of the show, wow, day to day listener? Okay. He used to be in movies, right? Oh. <laughs> I love them at home. I'm going to get on the phone and I'm going to call in. I'm not letting him yell at her. my son like that. Hold on, yell at her for breaking in with a I joke. Was thinking about, I was thinking about that as I was listening to this the whole time. I should call. I should call in and defend Sam because they're just bullying him. That's what I was thinking. Yeah. The yeah. next thing I know, here I am on the phone, and I have the opportunity to say, "You guys have been really mean to Sam this morning, but thanks wow. for all this airtime you're giving him." Oh, you're welcome. Yeah, it's been great, Sam, for all um, of us. I just uh, get a couple. What, what was your followers. favorite Kevin Pollock movie? 
Uh, and Mrs. <laughs> Roberts, how is it for you to hear your son call me a fucking asshole? Was that a good moment? <laughs> I, that, that was kind of running through my mind, too. <laughs> <laughs> I think they're getting somewhere where, you know, yeah. Sam, oh, and, sure, you know. Sam and Kevin can. Wow. That right. was the first. That was the first arrow from his quiver was to call me a fucking asshole, <laughs> and I'm just curious as his mother what a point of pride that was for you. Are you questioning how Sam was raised by his parents, Kevin? Pollack? I certainly am. Are you saying Sam's a potty mouth and he should know better right. than to talk that way? <laughs> no, I, that's nothing to do with how he was raised. He's a grown man now, as Rich was kind enough to point. I'm out. adult. <laughs> I'm adult. <laughs> I, I got no problem with Sam's view. Nice. <laughs> nice. All right. Okay. Okay, okay am well, I done pleasure. here? It was a pleasure meeting you both in this way. Can I ask a question to uh, Sam's parents? Mm -hmm. If you were uh, to go out and see an hour of a show, who would you rather go see, Sam or Kevin Pollack? Oh, you don't even need to I know. Ask, that was do a you? dumb question. It was? That was dumb, yeah. That's yeah. a very okay. stupid question. I'm just saying Kevin Pollack well, is a Well, you can't do an hour of anything, can you, Sam? <laughs> that's what I'm trying to get to. <laughs> that's what, now, I that's what just, Kevin wants everyone to I, That's what I'm to trying believe. to get to, that Kevin has earned his right to fucking smash you. Okay? <laughs> yeah, but do you think my mom is going to be like, you know what, Voss, you're right. Well, if she was well, if honestly, she was open -minded. if she wanted you to succeed in life, she would. She'd yes. pull back a little, let you swim on, or sink on your own. Yes. They felt okay, like they, cut they the felt cord. Like, they felt like they had to call in today and help you out. Oh, it's just their choice, <laughs> and I guess they put themselves up, That's right? right? They just <laughs> they just called in and jumped on the air. Yeah, it made oh. it look uncomfortable for everyone. <laughs> right, right. Because who likes the things being uncomfortable for everyone? That's my parents, well, right? Right. I can't believe they're still together. Who my parents? They're good. Time. Time to good They're great people. No, I don't They're mean. It wasn't because I saw some kind of. It's just. A, it's. It's rare. No. So, so um, all right. How uh, do we end this? No, we don't. Uh, we keep it going a little longer. You think? <laughs> yeah, because Sam. Going well? I fucking love this. This is good. Sam. How it. about in front of your parents, without them helping you, you show them what you're made of, and now you talk to Kevin Pollack. Tell like, him. I'm, tell like, him what you think of yeah, him. I already did, and you then you got him a my... fucking asshole. That's nothing. Start yeah. with. Come on. Start if you're with... talented, Sam, the way that your mom says you are, <laughs> and you'll and think of something. Start good with, to say. Mom. I can handle this. Yes. I'm not going to say that. Why? Because that's a ridiculous way to start. Go, Mom, Dad, I can handle <laughs> yeah. this. Watch. They're now, what do you have to say to Kevin yeah. Pollack? They're aware of what I can handle. Yeah. Okay. My position is I believe Kevin Pollack is an unbelievable piece of shit. <laughs> However... <laughs> Okay, now do it without the, the swearing, <laughs> his cursing. I, I, his argument was probably strengthened today because of a decision of my parents was, to be on the air. I was okay with Kevin's thoughts about you in general. You're just, okay. No, just okay because that's his thoughts. Right. Okay? Right. I don't necessarily agree with them. But what's really creeping me out today yes. is that he's doing this on a lot of different podcasts. Why a public out of nowhere, figure? I who's love got all that, these, that he's committed. On Tom he's not, podcast? Yeah, Tom but Poppins he's not. Even asking about me or O and A or nothing, now nothing you like know that. When He's Kevin too busy Pollack doing old time radio, and next thing you know, he has to <laughs> he has to deal with the the Sam thing. Yeah, where <laughs> where <laughs> Mister seventy four film credits obsession with me comes into play, I don't know, but I don't like it. That part I I'm creeped out by. I, Kevin, I, can I ask you? Did, did Sam do something one time that just set you off wrong? I know what or, it is. or did he say something some at one point that just really got under your skin that was either about you or, or that was misinterpreted? Absolutely not. Never had anything to do with me. That's the beauty and joy of my feelings towards him. Uh, but I do have to ask him to be honest, along with his being uh, genuinely and sincerely upset about my going out of my way on numerous platforms to attack him, that he doesn't find it flattering in any way, shape, or form. I want him to face that question. I find it entertaining on some level. Aha. Uh -huh. On some level. Level. I, I guess I would summarize the whole thing. Oh, it's still there? Yeah. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> let, him, let him talk. Let him talk. Yeah, what are you saying, Mr. Roberts? Yeah. I said, I guess I would just summarize the whole thing with a fucking asshole. That's right. Well, a whole family. Oh. That's right. Wow, so wow. your whole family just sits around and curses like yeah, this? Yeah, they're really potty mouths over in the Roberts <laughs> <Yeah>. household. <laughs> oh, Jesus. I want to hear Sam's mom say that as well. Yeah. I didn't. I know. Oh, sorry. Okay. Oh, I don't need. To, I don't need to say that. I was just thinking it. <laughs> what were you thinking, Miss Roberts? I'm, I was out. Yeah, because it's radio. Uh, well, ask Sam. You don't. You don't say fucking asshole like your son and your husband. 
Usually not. It's a lot of dirty talk in that house. Sure is. <laughs> like it's it. a you weird right family now. dynamic because you don't generally find a family that's cursing all the time and so loving nice. and yeah. helicopter parenty. <laughs> We're not cursing all the time. <laughs> <laughs> all shitting with the door open and stuff. I, I mean, it's a weird exactly. family. And that's the mom. <laughs> I know. <laughs> You guys would not enjoy the Thanksgiving dinner, then, I assure you. I've been there for Thanksgiving, and I enjoy... Oh, no, it's Christmas. Sam's Christmas. father, some old business, by the way. When we were up in Montreal, Sam told the penis story again. Yes. And I don't understand why it took you guys so long to know that your, your son's penis was so fucked up. What's... And then Sam, I was circumcised at age 19, by the way. And then Sam... And then, oh my God! <laughs> by oh my by Norton's mouth, up to speed. <laughs> and then Sam finally had to show his dad. And and how old were you? Seventeen, I think you said. Yeah, and why in Montreal? the car? Why in the car? Did you... <laughs> the process probably started around there. I was circumcised at nineteen, though. But why, why didn't you guys notice before then? Isn't that you know, a... Sam's a very private person. Yeah, Not... he always he used it's to always dick. take a leak with the door closed. <laughs> Well, now, yeah. what circumstances did you, did you show it? But he finally had to show you and go, I, at 17, I think there's something wrong here. Yeah. I told you before, a doctor alerted them to it. They, and then my dad said, this is, if you think this is embarrassing for you, it's even more embarrassing you, for me. Because your dad had to take a look after the doctor was alerted. Correct. Right. Do you remember that day, uh, Mr. Roberts? No, I put it completely out of my mind. He remembers. You have photos? <laughs> when, when son showed I can't his, imagine what was so wrong with his it. Penis that looked it like would, an anteater. It would like a water balloon, the top part. Yeah, what I had Famosis, Bonnie. Famosis. Oh, and then what? Like, but it took you like <laughs> eight sco- years to, to kinda, be like. He had to wring out his own penis to get urine oh, out. Oh, <laughs> Another, Basically. another reason Kevin should hate you. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know when a water balloon gets a tiny, tiny little hole in and you want to get the water out a little bit? You have to squeeze spray, it out. Spray, spray bit, it in yeah. your uh, daughter's face or whatever. That's what he had to do with his penis. I know, but you must have collecting. seen other penises That's, by that point. I don't... Well, I don't know. <laughs> he's, I don't think so. He's not us. You never had an uncle or... A, no. I mean, it's crazy. <laughs> oh. Sorry. That, Sam's mom's on the phone. I forget. Exactly. Miss Roberts, we apologize. I don't, think of, I don't think of any of these people as real. Oh. <laughs> do, do you just like to hear your son being bullied like this on the radio by a, an older and more refined gentleman like Kevin? Yes. Who came up with Robin Williams, the reason why he was he's calling not, today? He's not refined, by the way. Tim, but he's a legit... Kevin's a legitimate... Actor and legit, co- like you know, he is a legitimized great actor and and you know, I mean, he's been he's been in great films. He he's just a, he's a f- again. He's a filmmaker as well. <laughs> no, his I film know, is no. coming out. No, I'm not well, going. I understand. I know he's coming out with a movie. That's why you're taking his side. Yeah, but because I'm in it. <laughs> yes. How many minutes am I in it, Kevin? What do you guess? Uh, first of all, I just want to tip my hat to Opie, if I may, who Thank pulled you, off really the coup of all of this, which is. To force me to listen to the last 11 minutes about Sam and his penis. <laughs> <laughs> it is an amazing story. I can't get enough of it. I don't think. Well, I, I, I don't I think we got all the details yet. We will eventually. There's no more but details. The, the beauty is, is that you, <laughs> Jim brings up how much I go on other platforms telling pretty much anyone who will listen. Sam brought that uh, up. I didn't notice it. No, you know, I have noticed no, it. No, no, no. How much I can't stand the sound of Sam's voice and yeah. the brilliance of Opie is to then force me to listen to it. <laughs> well, can you list all the podcasts you've talked about Sam and his voice? <laughs> I didn't. I wasn't really aware until Sam started going down the list that oh. I had crossed this line in his life uh, because... I was just speaking freely about my opinions of pretty much whatever I wanted, as one does on these shows. Right. As someone See, once it's said, just so word, many words word. and slowly and oh, oh, what? Sam's I father. I didn't realize there was a pattern. Is what I'm saying. Sam's father, you had something. I said, as someone once said, words hurt. That don't, that's I right. Don't, not, that's true, Mr. <laughs> Rob. I'm not trying that to build a case of yeah. sympathy. It's yeah. not, <laughs> That was what a this guy, is. that That's, was a Geico commercial. No, no, but Sam's mom and dad are actually right. You don't like the fact that they're, he's bullying and hurting your son's feelings. It's, it's words, not. especially they don't like that. But I've Sam has heard. obviously listened to everything Kevin Pollack does because uh, how it, else would if it's, you know? If it's alerted to me that my name is mentioned, absolutely, it, it gets it, back to Sam. Is that true, Mister Mister Roberts? You don't like the fact that your son? I've used so many words bullied? against so many people. You can't. This not isn't about sympathy. Everybody's gonna like Sam. Sam's 
father's basically saying you're being hurt by words. Yeah, he doesn't like it. That's not. It's that's, what I heard. that's what I heard. So yeah. next time that Kevin's asked, what are some things you don't like? He's not allowed to say your name. He's just being honest. No, that's not. That's not the context that this is brought up in. It's about a public figure who's got seventy four credits. To his name. No movie credit. Oh, before he was a nobody. Now he's somebody. I didn't say he was why a nobody. Why do you pick a side on the Kevin Sam, Pollard I mean, they're not saying. memorable all Sam, of them, but you, he was in the movies. Why don't you just tell Kevin how much the words hurt? Maybe we could get yeah, something. That's I not think what this right, is about. Maybe we something done. You got any music in there? We could play, please, yeah. some Sam. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and this is <laughs> being skewed <laughs> in the wrong tell direction how entirely. You Thank you, Mr. Roberts, for bringing it home with that. Words do hurt Words Sam. Words do hurt Sam. <laughs> they don't like him being bullied. Sam's being bullied. His mom said it, and she's right. Huh? Uh, Somebody should put that on a T-shirt, maybe, huh? Oh, words hurt. Yes. So much pain. Oh, well, he's talking about my new T-shirt. I know what he's at talking about. slash shop Thank you, Mr. Roberts. Absolutely. What size are you? I'll send you one. <laughs> Please don't. You can wear it in front of Sam to remind him. Go I ahead, know. Sam. Mm -hmm. All right, are we done? You're in a safe place. Go ahead. I'm, I'm not I'm in the least safe place I've ever been in my life. <laughs> you my, know why this started, right? Why? It's because you made fun of his music that he, the music that he liked. <laughs> yes. This is where it all. He's a Hall and Oates guy. Yes. <laughs> all right. Well, there's some real shit going on here. Yeah, and Mr. and Mrs. Roberts called in with some some good points. They're lovely people. I, I know them well. They. She's they don't a, like him being bullied. She's a okay baker. Um, yeah, she bakes all right. Hey, she bakes. hey, hey, hey! What do you mean okay? <laughs> See, they're, they're all competitive in this family. It's who's, brutal. Who's playing Sam's parents? Because they're dynamite. <laughs> they're doing such a good job. They're this like the par They're like she's like uh, like uh, 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 Julie Louise Dwight. What's her fucking name? Uh, Julia Lewis's mother in fucking uh, Natural Born Killers. Oh wow! Like when Rodney's Very upstairs. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Yes. Just happy. Edie McClure. Is, it, no. is there any way Mr. and Mrs. Roberts could come to Sam's renegotiation contract, uh, sit down, <laughs> someone, and someone I bet they that? already have. <laughs> he won them over. film that, I would honestly pay a ridiculous sum of money to see them stand up for their son in that sort of environment. <laughs> they would do it. Yeah, I know. I would do They're that. embarrassing. I would do you would that. do that, Miss Roberts? I would do it. Yeah, I was talking. Actually, I can't divulge the names, but I was talking to some people about that. <laughs> he wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think that words hurt, and Mr. Roberts hit a home run with that. Absolutely. Sam, I would like you to tell him what words hurt. We got to the bottom of it. Yeah, they don't today. like you being bullied. I don't either. I'm not hurt. By words? Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> Sam, to you. I don't need any sympathy. Everybody's I'm, vulnerable, Sam. I'm doing just fine. But you, you did need your mom and dad. And he's to help implying you out, right? that you didn't, I didn't need that at all. In fact, I would have done sure? much better without it. He's implying you sure? didn't work hard to get here. Right. Why don't you tell your mom and dad what you feel about them? I wish, <laughs> I wish you didn't have telephones. <laughs> That's how I feel about them. I think they helped you out today by calling in. And by the way, Kevin Pollack has been quote unquote given plenty of opportunities. It's not like any of these 74 movies that he was in he's A, a shining star in, Fucking Avalon. or B You're he wrote them. just gonna keep it going yeah. Sam? Wow, Sam. I'm not Please. impressed. Have you seen Avalon? No, I haven't seen this Avalon. This is why people hate you. Okay, <laughs> this is why. One of the fucking best Barry Levinson movies ever. Big part, Kevin Pollack, my pal, who I might do his podcast what, what in you, LA. Fingers crossed. <laughs> what did he play in that movie? He played an actor. <laughs> Don't even remember. <laughs> it was a long time ago. Exactly. He was mad. All house. of them. It's the same. Oh, yeah. I forgot he was in that movie. Is, Rich really Every doesn't movie. even know. I do know. He oh, played, what did he play? He Rich, played why didn't you just say, don't you think it's better if Kevin tells us? <laughs> <laughs> Now you're fucking... Listen, don't turn this on me. I'm just saying it was a good movie. What did he play in the movie? That's all I'm asking. He played the son of a guy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fucking... He was good in the movie. All right. What was his character's name in Usual Suspects? Do you remember that? I didn't, no. I didn't bring any of this up, though. Wait, you're you bringing up a, a, a movie, so I'm just asking you, what did he play? It. You I like know, Avalon. Listen, don't, don't push it on me. You're pushing it on me because uh, I like a how movie. How do you think I am? Look, this is huh? about you, not me. There's no Guys, don't argue. Nobody remembers Kevin Pollack in his movies. You don't need to fight over I it. I feel like at the end of this, I swear to God, and it might take a while, but you're going to get... Kevin Pollock's signature tattooed on your arm. <laughs> <laughs>
By the way, it was Todd, so if you really need to know. But it's not about me. Todd uh, <laughs> Hockney, I think. Go fuck yourself. You're reading it all. Where am I reading it? <laughs> but one of your fucking mutant fans that just wrote it on the... He First drooled. of all, my phone's not on. Ooh. And I, I got again? CNN yeah. and I got the phone screen. Ooh. Yeah, someone wrote Todd. Because when I find out a big star listens to the show on a daily basis, I get to you know learn and know, know about him a little bit. That's right. You brought up Avalon. You don't even know what he played in. That is true. I just know it was a good move. Movie. Is, it, is that good enough? No. He, he said Barry Levinson. That's pretty good. Yeah. It was okay. Izzy, by the way, you asshole. What was Izzy? Oh, forget it. <laughs> Kevin, <laughs> Kevin, right? Izzy? Yes, correct. Thank you. Is he what? Stupid? Uh, yes. <laughs> what was I looking at there? What was I looking at there? <laughs> Whoever fucking is talking into your headphones, you fucking asshole. Go Miss, fuck yourself. I know shit. <laughs> Mr. and Mrs. Roberts, well, do you feel this is a little bit going better now? That, that Sam has at least gotten this point out i feel i feel way better oh. myself they just couldn't be more off are you gonna are you gonna are you gonna bake something uh for sam today to make him feel a little better if that's what would make him feel better of course i'll do that what are you thinking some cookies maybe for sam today some fresh uh baked cookies keep them a little His warm. clothes might be dirty no, no, i'm thinking i'm thinking chocolate cake with white frosting See? yeah and she's it's not a, it's kidding a cake day. she's not it's a cake kidding day. i yeah. think when kevin paula comes into town she should have you guys over for dinner have him over for dinner and maybe try to oh i would love to have this. kevin paula go over. <laughs> she's just she was she's just selling you out so <laughs> because he's, he's a famous person she's like <laughs> oh, he can't say he likes my chicken <laughs> she, would, she would be very excited to cook for kevin paula of course she would she's got no scruples and she wouldn't uh, uh, cook shitty either uh, however just let me say one thing i was very 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 disappointed that Bonnie jumped on the bandwagon against Sam. I'm a lady. I, didn't like I do. I do what I can to survive. I see who's in charge, and I go with that. That's what I do. But listen, don't you think it would be nice right now? Um, maybe you can convince him. Don't you think Sam should apologize? <laughs> Oh, no way. Are you kidding me? <laughs> but he was very ages towards Kevin. I am ve no, I'm very <laughs> proud that Sam stood up and said what he thought about Kevin Pollack. Sam's well, mom, would you kick Kevin Pollack in the balls if he was uh, next to you right now? Give him a nut shot. Would I? Yeah. Oh, I'm not a ball kicker. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad that's on the table. Not, she not cups after what her son went through with his penis. <laughs> yes, I learned the hard way what you can do to a penis by kicking right. it. <laughs> but if you kicked it a few times, maybe it would have opened up the yeah. hole a little bit. On, on the way home, Bonnie's going to go, Sam's parents knew my name. She's going to be so excited that they what called you, you Bonnie, about? that they knew your name was Bonnie. Oh, God. <laughs> you know it. You're going to go, how the fuck they know me? All right, I don't know how to... Well, I say, I've been on the show all morning that they've been listening to. Well, Miss Roberts, would you like to say anything to Kevin Pollack? Do I have anything to say to him? Yeah, final thoughts. Um, well, I wish you would be nicer to Sam, but oh, also, don't. Thank, thank you for knowing him and giving him all oh, my God. <laughs> She's not even fucking joking. This is the best part about Sam's mom. She Just, means this. Bonnie lo is losing. Does it, it bother you that he talks poorly about Sam on other mediums? <laughs> She's very bad no, at pretending I, not to I, be nice. I, I wish he would. I wish he would say nicer things about Sam. Mm. But the fact that he mentions his name is a good thing. Even on Tom uh. Papa's podcast when they're doing that old time radio, <laughs> what's well, he I, doing I there really for? Well, I know really where Tom, Tom just wants Kevin Pollock to make the sound of a horse walking by or something. <laughs> 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 no, he's that's how you know he's, he has to talk about Sam. <laughs> Mrs. Roberts just made an exception. Kind of know Tom Papa's podcast, sorry. <laughs> huh? Mrs. Roberts just made an amazingly important point, and if Sam could pull his head out of Jay-Z's ass far enough, Ooh. he would understand that there's no such thing as bad press. The he is, fact that he's very hurt by the music. <laughs> <laughs> That's what's gotten under Kevin's skin so Jay -Z bad. Is your, it's not your the sound of my voice. Music. It's, it's yeah. the music. He doesn't oh, like that hip hip that those kids listen to. <laughs> oh, you're doing it again, All right. Sam. Sam's father, yeah. final thoughts? Where's Lady Di? <laughs> oh, God, no. <laughs> Yeah, the fact that your mom pointed out that anyone is talking about you, Sam, on any platform is the good news. That's the good news. That's the part that's hurt you the most. And your mother just said that's really kind of a good thing. 
<laughs> but let's not forget, you know, words do hurt Sam. Sam's dad said that. I mean, yeah. <laughs> that's what Sam's. I didn't say it. No, dad, you didn't. Say your that. actual dad said yes. that. Yes, so, he did say that. Good luck I don't know to... why. He thought it would be like a fun little thing to plug your <laughs> dumb T-shirt. <laughs> good, good, good luck. <laughs> good luck digging yourself out of that hole. Yes, I mean, <laughs> good luck on that one. <laughs> it's just bad news when. <laughs> You picked up that phone. You didn't line, want but... your parents to call in. No, no, no. <laughs> they love you. Yeah, yeah they no, I know you. they do. They have positive intentions, but have no idea how this whole thing works. That... I thought. I think they made it a little better for you. So do I. No, I would yeah. say. I think uh, Kev Kevin respects you a lot more now. All right, Sam's parents, we're gonna let you go. <laughs> Let's find out from Kevin. <laughs> you got some baking to do today for Sam to make him feel a little better. Would you live at home? No, no I don't live at home. <laughs> 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 He's married, right? Yes, but <laughs> Sam's mom might still do his laundry. At no, she doesn't do my laundry. Do you no. like his? Uh, do you get along with his wife, or do you think he could have done better? <laughs> That's Sam's mom. Be That's honest. I'm trying. Are you? You're asking me about Sam's wife? Yeah. She is wonderful. I love Jess. She is a fantastic woman but, and extremely supportive of Sam. And not a Kevin Pollack fan, by the way. he is of her. She's not that supportive. I don't hear her calling in. That's true. <laughs> She's letting her man <laughs> swing by the neck. Right? <laughs> but, but there is competition there for Sam's love. Yeah. There no, is competition. No competition. Of which no he has none to give to anyone. <laughs> no kidding. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Sam's parents. Hey, this was a pleasure. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it certainly was. <laughs> I hope the podcasts work out for all you guys. Uh, My wife hates me. Thank uh, you, Mr. Roberts. Thank you. Uh, that Sam's didn't parents. sound like a podcast. It's no. just like you. No, it's just a great, yeah, just a, for help. Yeah, just a great point. <laughs> so anyway, that's uh, Kevin Pollack's thoughts on Robin Williams. Uh, wonderful. Wonderful look back at your friend <laughs> Thank there. Thank you. Oh my, my pleasure. I'm glad I could be here for you. <laughs> right. And all all my best to most of you. <laughs> I didn't I didn't say anything that would make you cut me out of your movie, right? No, absolutely. All right, good. This, all right, good. This, that's all I was no, thinking this, about during the last hour. No, this this has been a, a great and uh I'm I'm glad that we could kill an hour and ten minutes. Kill an hour yeah, geez. Anytime you want to gang up on somebody, give me a call. <laughs> I'd love to do yeah. it. <laughs> All right. Hey, Kevin, if you get time, you could pre-order uh, Women Aren't Funny. Uh, our women movie. Aren't Funny? <laughs> women Aren't Funny. I know, he can't say it. I, I said not pluralize. <laughs> I, I said know, Women you Aren't you Funny. Got, it's oh. your movie, though. Thank God someone it's your caught movie. it. Because I, why does he say women? I, 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 I know why. So many times I'm like, women. <laughs> women. Women. <laughs> aren't Funny on iTunes. Again. Women Aren't I said Funny. Woman. It's like a caveman. It's his movie, though. It's not a word. For 17 years, we've been making this fucking thing. Women aren't funny. I said women <laughs> aren't funny on <laughs> iTunes. That's the point. You can pre-order it. You said it wrong slowly. You're that saying time. it wrong. I did not. Say it again. Women. <laughs> women aren't it. funny. I like in your head, spell it differently. W-O-M-E-N. No, say I know, but spell it W-I-M-I-N. Then say it. Uh, it's women. What? Women there aren't funny. You know. There you go. I'm right. not going to shoot right. my head out every time I say it. <laughs> women. Well, that's what I said. Women aren't funny <laughs> on he's iTunes. You can pre-order. He's slowly going back. back. <laughs> slowly, yeah. He's like a pencil. What's the name of the movie? Oh, uh, you know. You're in it. Come on, say it. Women aren't funny. There you go. <laughs> he All did right. the head thing. <laughs> he, 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 he laughing box pushed his head out. <laughs> women. Uh, right. Pre-order on iTunes, everybody. Or uh, what? You could do it now. No, Fucking. for what? For what? What? The, what's the name? Women aren't funny. You guys are just mean people. <laughs> I, you know what? You're oh, oh, rich. oh, now we're bullying rich. You want your mom to call you and help you out? Yeah, if she, if <laughs> my you, mom. My mom <laughs> wouldn't do a good job either. Neither would mine. <laughs> uh, and of course, if Kevin's mom called, it, she'd make it all about herself. Unlike Sam's mom. No. I fight my own battles, but thanks for the offer. Yes. Yeah. All right. Oh. I think we got a lot uh, accomplished here today. No no question about it. And All right. thank you for the opportunity to help clear the air. I appreciate that. All right. Thanks for your Robin Williams uh, memories. Thanks, Kevin. Uh, you're very welcome. Uh, great to hear all your voices. I'll, I can't wait to hear this on the actual radio, myself, in the car, on the way to work. All right. <laughs> See, he goes to work, Sam. What, what does that mean? If you were a movie star, you wouldn't go to work. Oh. <laughs> he calls it work. 
Yeah. What are you working that's, on today? That's the that's how big he is as a movie star. Right. He isn't like I got a movie. He's like I go to work. Just work. It's my job. Well, what are you working on today, Kevin? I'm back to work on the Chuck Lorre show, Mom, with Anna Ferris and Allison Janney. Wait, uh, you're on that show? Yes, exactly. I'm on show. No, yes, I don't but... watch the show. I saw the. <laughs> Thank you for proving my point. No, I don't watch. <laughs> I don't watch, but I know Anna, that show's doing well, and I see right. a scene or two with Anna Ferris because I, 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 I've always thought she was pretty hot. And fucking Avalon, great movie. <laughs> <laughs> I know he plays Alvin, but I just haven't seen him uh, do it yet. <laughs> Why is everyone laughing? I Ken's said Avalon, a, a good movie. What do you say he plays Alvin? On what does he play Alvin? He's playing Alvin on the Anna Farish uh, show. That's his Mom. character. Yes. God. No, Alvin's an instrument. <laughs> do you, oh. <laughs> oh. Kevin, do you play Alvin or not? I, I just love how you have the first name of my characters at the ready. I, <laughs> no, I don't really know the last name. I did know. Uh, I did know Todd Hockney, but I, I, I and. I just don't know Alvin's name on the show. Just turn your headphones no, on. It's, it's quite all right, believe me. <laughs> all right. It, yeah, yeah, it really is. Uh, th this was a pleasure beyond belief, uh, honestly and truly, and thanks for the opportunity. Oh. All right, Kevin. Always a pleasure. You know that. When are you going to be in New York? Soon? Uh, yeah, I think so. In the beginning of October. I'll, I'll give uh, throw out a heads up, and um, I can't wait for you guys to see the film. I'll send you a uh, Vimeo uh, private right. viewing of the of the documentary. So you and Jimmy, Jimmy's all over the fucking thing. He's incredible. And thank and, you. Uh, and Opie, you're in it a couple of times, not just once. And but, uh, that, but, I'm, I'm, but I'm a lot less than incredible. Oh my god, that was you almost heard that? In, yeah, it was like insulting. Jimmy, incredible. I'm in it a couple. And times. you're kind of in it. You got it. You're wearing a nice shirt. Hey, but wait, what's the documentary called? What's it about? It's called Women Aren't Funny. <laughs> 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 Thank God it was a different name. It's called Misery Loves Comedy, and it, it poses the, a great name. the thesis, do you have to be miserable to be fun. And and how weird is that with the Robin yeah. Williams situation? Now it's completely weird. That I mean, what a, what a connection to your film now. And, and it's, when is the film coming out? Uh, we're going to be probably debuting at one of the festivals, maybe Sundance, I don't know. Uh, you know how these things are. Uh, one of the big agencies just signed on to rep the film, and they'll do their job, and we'll, we'll, I'll let you guys know, believe wow. me. Wow, but that's, that's incredible. You got it all yeah, in no. the can already, and then Rob Williams does what he did. All right. Thanks, Kevin. We'll, uh, we'll talk soon. All right, guys and gal. Take care. See you, buddy. You didn't say, he didn't say goodbye to you, Sam. I'm a guy. You're part of the guy, part of that? I'll assume so. No, you're a son. All right. True. Uh, Rich, to you, uh, the movie again, What's what is it? August 26th, it comes out on iTunes. You can pre-order it right now on iTunes under Comedy. Women are funny this weekend. Uncle horror, Vinny's. Horror, funny. <laughs> this weekend, Uncle Vinny's. Horror. And horror. Uh, what else? Our podcast, My Wife Hates Me, and Which whatever. Great. And, of course, um, the radio show, Tuesday nights, 7 to 9. Yeah, people are finally starting to figure out that you're on weekly, which is great. Can people and come see me at McGuire's this weekend? Oh, oh no. You can say, come see oh, me. Please come see me. Is that too beggy? <laughs> no. She killed. She just killed in Baltimore at McGooby's. And at the stress. She's great. She opened up for Ralphie at the stress against her will, and he couldn't follow her. Who? That's not Who Up the stairs. Who? That's <laughs> <laughs> It's funny. Quick. <laughs> Ralphie. She worked with Ralphie this week. So it's uh, McGuire's? McGuire's. Friday, Saturday? One show Friday, two shows Saturday. Okay, yeah, go see Bonnie McFarlane Place on Long Island. Uncle Vinny's Point Pleasant. Uh, Jimmy? Jimmy's got a lot. You got your advice show today at 1 o'clock on talk, this channel. My, uh, my, my, uh, my helper show is today at 1. Yep. Vice.com, the episode with Rich and Sherrod and, uh, and Dave Attell. It's which a great was, show. It's very funny. It's it was really taping. funny. Yeah, that was amazing. really came out great. And uh, and Rich and Sherrod did this piece that I fucking loved. That's, my, it was so good. Yeah, it's, it might be my favorite thing that we shot. I don't know. I just he Rich was talking to white people. Sherrod was talking to black people in Harlem. And it was just really great. Well, I can't wait um, to see so that. So that'll be up today sometime. And... Um, uh, next weekend, I'm in Dallas, the 21st through 23rd at the Improv, Syracuse, 4th through 6th of September at the Funny Bone, and then Columbus Funny Bone, September 18th through 20th. Are we doing Line of the Day, or is that next week? Or Next week. Next week, we're going to get back to Line of the Day. Can we still use my old song? Yes, we can. Oh, line yeah, of, of course. Day. Of course. Line of, I get $10,000 every time it's played. Uh, what? That's right. We didn't do half the show we were supposed to today, but that was pretty damn <laughs> good with the Kevin Pollock thing, so. <laughs> yeah. Uh, 